I have wasps in my backyard. They built a nest under the trampoline. It's literally hanging from one of the springs. I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, I just went to the hardware store. They told me to buy this stuff and use it at night. So that's what I'm going to do. So here's my trampoline. If you look underneath, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look right there, oh, there's one. I better back up. I better back up. Yeah, see, that's what I've got. It's hiding there. And when I get off duty tonight from work, I'm going to come home and I'm going to spray this stuff. Hopefully, I'll take care of it. And while the directions don't actually call for it, layering is probably a good idea. Complete body coverage, just in case something goes very badly. And as always, remember to follow directions. Shake can well before Remove use. protective cap and insert applicator wand into spray nozzle before From a distance of 2 to 2.5 meters or 68 feet with the wind coming from behind, point applicator wand in the direction of the nozzle and continue spraying until the opening of the nest is completely covered with the insert. Because the insert will now be unable to leave the nest, insert the applicator wand into the nest opening and fill the nest space or void where the nest is located with the insert aside. Okie dokie. Well, didn't go over so well. One of them came out and chased after me. Got him before he could get me, though. Hopefully the rest of them are... Hopefully the rest of them are, are taken care of. I'll find out in the next 24 hours. Okay, so let's just see what the status of that wasp nest is. So all that foam has dripped off. Hive definitely doesn't look too good. You can see where the opening is. Tonight, I'm going to try to come up from the bottom and aim upwards. I don't think I really had it properly covered. That's how that one fella got out and came after me. Okay, let's just back up and take a retreat. I'm gonna come back in a couple of minutes and see if I woke anybody up. Going back to take another look, see if I can 
finish the job. Die, suckers, die! <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Make sure that. Ugh. So I'm pretty sure I got them. What was left of them looked like the uh, stuff had caused more structural damage than anything to the to the nest. But uh, so far, these guys have been uh, in the habit of visiting me at least once or twice a day. I've um, I've made good use of my fly swatter. Probably time to uh, replace it, just given how much I've had to use it the last couple of weeks. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see what happens here over the next day or two if we get any more of them. If uh, if they don't come back from this point, I think that um, I think I scored a win here. Yeah. So it's uh, not quite empty. There's still some wasps that have uh, yet to hatch another one hatched within the last 24 hours and it kind of caught my wife by surprise when she found it in the bathtub and she thought it was dead too so she grabbed a uh, paper towel and tried to pick it up and it uh, retaliated and stung her in the finger so after seeing that all over Facebook I figured it's time to take a little more drastic action still got this stuff in addition to that, I think it's time to take the, the nest off. A little encouragement. And once that's, uh, once it's down on the ground, finish it off. Well, there doesn't seem to be much of anything left, but... <sighs> Goodbye. Well, I think that nest is officially done. Tomorrow... I'm going to take a look at it during the daytime just to make sure that there isn't any last remnants of that thing that I haven't completely obliterated. And probably employ my trusty crowbar, which is a lot more overkill than I expected.
That's the uh, shell of that wasp nest was uh, very much uh, devoid of any remnants of life. I'm not sure where that wasp came from because I was expecting to see a whole lot more. I, I'm actually a little disappointed. Uh, I wasted all this adrenaline for nothing. It seems like there was really never any harm. I was sweating like a pig with this thing on. It's like, oh, I'm not even sure what temperature it is, but like plus 15 Celsius, which um, is kind of warm for Saskatchewan. I'm used to it. I kind of on the cold side, but um, I digress. All in all, I think that um, I may have actually learned a thing or two. And um, I hope this is the last time I ever have to deal with these things. Very good. Looks like it's all gone. It's what's left of it. All right. Well, okay. Um, it's been a few days since uh, that uh, little adventure, and so far, you may have seen one or two wasps, but they seem to come and go. Uh, I have not seen any other nests. Uh, being built nearby so now it's time for a little bit of a deterrent got one of these things uh, artificial wasp nest and it's uh, supposed to uh, deter any uh, wasp nests uh, within 200 feet of it and any wasps that fly nearby should uh, instinctively fly away when they see this thing we'll uh, we'll see if that's actually the case remove product from packaging Extend both ends of the simulated wasp nest. Once extended, insert the smaller end of the metal supporting rod into the larger opening. Snap supporting rod into place onto the four rings. The rod should bend slightly to keep tension. Oop. Make sure you don't poke or puncture the Fudge. simulated wasp nest. Ah! Okay. There we go. Attach the string to the C-shaped hook in the largest opening. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. And as always, remember to follow directions. All right, focus there. There we go. Okay. Um, no. Um, uh, that uh, uh, it's uh, supposed to uh, deter any uh, 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 <sighs> we can call this a win and uh, move on with our happy old lives. No, that didn't work out too well. Okay. For my next project, I'm going to clean up my garage.
<laughs> no, no, I've, I've got too many other things to take care of before I get to this mess. Uh, I wish I had more natural acting talent. This is so painful. Because the insects will now be unable to leave the nest. And there's a cat fight behind me. Lovely. Ha, ha, ha.